KTSM is your local election headquarters. Thanks for joining us for KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Natasha Paloma. Daniel is off tonight. With four days left of early voting ahead of the March Texas primary election, we're breaking down the numbers of people who cast their ballot. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is here in the studio with that information. With early voting underway in the Texas Democratic and Republican primaries, numbers show El Pasoans are showing up to cast their vote. Comparing to the same time in the 2016 primary election, El Paso has seen an increased voter turnout. Voting is just important because it's voting, it's our right, it's something we're supposed to do. El Paso voters showing up by the numbers to cast their vote in the early voting period for the March Texas primary election, showing an increase for both Democratic and Republican voters. Truly this year, I think it is more important that we, the Democrats, support whomever is the prime candidate, but it definitely we need to make our uh, preferences known that we need to do it now. According to early voting data, out of the nearly half a million registered voters in El Paso County, 13,525 Democrats voted early, and 4,106 Republicans cast their votes to date. At this time in 2016, data shows about 1.9% of voters cast ballots, compared to 4.4% this year. Voters say this increase circles around the presidential election, but also the local races on the ballot. Make sure that everyone is informed. Let them know what are the issues. Let them know what is most important in the national elections and also our local elections, our local elected officials, especially the sheriff, um, all the individuals running for county commissioner. In addition to presidential candidates, El Pasoans will vote for the El Paso County Sheriff, new county district attorney, and a handful of judicial district judges. They're supposed to be working for us, and if you don't think they're working for you, and then you need to get them out. And I don't think enough people do that. Early voting wraps up on Friday the 28th, and election day for the Texas primaries is on Super Tuesday, March 3rd. In the studio, Stephanie Shields, KTSN 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie. Vote